Hello and welcome back to Breath Edge. Uh, my name is Smudge. Welcome back to the first area, actually. Because uh, before we get started in today's episode, we have a few points of business. Thanks to you guys in the comments pointing these things out. Not sure whether I can even bother charging these things. So apparently, um, we can examine. There you go. That one. Thank you very much. I would never have guessed that without you guys pointing that out. I would never have even. Because you have to get actually quite close to it to actually get the examination thing to come up. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, that would have never, never happened. So, thank you very much for pointing that one out because uh, that would have been lost in forever. Uh, but apparently, that is the, I suppose, tier two oxygen tank. Uh, the one I've got now is actually tier three. So, you know, I skipped over that one apparently. So, no harm done. It's just uh, I wanted to point that one out so that. Uh, a, you guys know that I do read your comments and I do appreciate the helpful uh, hints and stuff that you guys give me. Providing they're not like, you know, spoiler based, everything's fine. Um, and also, you know, um, for those of you that, that uh, may be playing or looking to play, you now know where the tier 2 oxygen tank is. The other thing that you guys said was there might be actually some loose paint floating around around here. I just need one and I'm good. Um, I'm pretty sure I got all the tanks though, although some of you did point out that no, I didn't, but I went to all of them and they were all done for. But still, uh, we'll come back here and we'll have another look around. And lo and behold, I think you guys are right. Paint floating around in space. Well, I, again, would never have, uh... Yeah, there's quite a few of it. <laughs> there's quite a few of them. <laughs> there we go. So there is actually more paint over here, which means we can probably get our paint helmet. A uh, new radiation boosted helmet. Look at that, even more. Christ, it's everywhere, guys. Yep, bloody hell. How did I miss this? Thank you very much once again. Uh, the tanks are empty. And uh, none of these have got any lights on them. Empty. And I think the only other one was up there. And again, I'm pretty sure I checked that one and was empty as well. Uh, this one. Oh, the light is on that one. Tank with paint. I get. I apologise again, ladies and gents. Now it's empty. <laughs> it had one bit of paint in there, which uh, was the whole point of coming here in the first place. Still, I'm here now. I've picked it up. Thank you very much, everybody. You rock. Okay. Let's get back to our our first pod then, because I want to. Well, if we can create the helmet there, that's great. Um. Otherwise, I, I'm just going to try and pick up as much stuff as possible and take you to our new pod further on down the way. All right, so yeah, there's the double balloon. Gives us plus 50, but never mind. The helmet covered in paint, aluminium, glass, paint, and plastic. Should be able to get all of that here. There it is. I don't know how we're going to see out of this thing once we create it, though, by the way. <laughs> Helmet covered with paint. Excellent protection against radiation, direct sunlight, and prying eyes. The lack of visibility can be compensated by an increased... Damn it! <laughs> See, this is... This is what do I do with this? The level is much lower. That's great. I'll give you directions. Fly to the left. Or to be more precise, to the right. Your other right, which is at the top. Okay, that was a bad idea. <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> uh, increased sense of smell and hearing, which is quite necessary when being in outer space. <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> What's the point of that then? Ah! Do I have to take that with me? Do you think that is, is it important? Or is it just a joke? I have no idea. Damn it. <laughs> right, okay, well, um... Let me try and take some of the more useful things that are a bit rarer up um, the other the other end of space here. I created that useless helmet. Uh, paint. I don't know if I'm going to need it ever. Should I leave it here? There's only three left now. Damn it. I don't know. Glass is pretty rare. Over there. Okay, I'm going to pick some stuff up. Let's go. Okay. Uh, I think that'll do. Yeah, two slots left. I don't know what to take, whether the paint is even useful. I, I don't even know whether to take that. Probably don't need it. It's just a joke, isn't it? I don't know. <laughs> That's how I feel about it. I'm going to leave it behind because it, you can't see. Uh, open space, smelling very good. You should try to take a deep breath of this fresh air without a helmet. I think it's trying to kill me, I swear. Right. Now I've got a bit, a bit of lag there. Nice. 
Uh, I'm going to head all the way back to that pod, 1,700 meters away. All right, let's do this. All right, now that we've put everything back and uh, we're ready to go, there's quite a few of you pointed out that uh, when I went over there, it's completely off the freaking beaten track, which, you know, I figured out, yes. Um, up in the dome there thing, we need alcohol. I don't even have any alcohol down in the old shuttle there, so... Um, I think the way that the game wants us to go is back down here, which, of course, we did go some way down here. Um, and then I think, you know, we run out of air and stuff, and had to go back and whatnot. But I brought with me my two oxygen stations this time, so we're going to go as far as the tank will allow us. Pop an oxygen station down there and have a little bit of a, a more of an explore around here. I think I pretty much sort of found everything down here anyway, but, um, yeah, second look is not going to hurt anybody is it and uh, this might lead to something there's a lot of resources down here i know that for sure uh there's a mag there's a uh i've opened this yeah open coffin never mind so that's coffin i need the magnetic thing words are not working this cave is reasonably big how the hell did the ship get inside here who knows did the rock grow around it did it crash into it Oh, these questions. All oh, these questions. There's ice. What is this? It doesn't look like ice. It is ice. Okay, ignore me. Okay, yeah, there's a lot of resources down here. And, um... There's a lot of stuff, I suppose, that we maybe didn't discover the first time around. Just like that freaking picture in that, um... In the kids' room that we, you know, I failed to, to check out. But then who would know that? <laughs> Take that fabric. Fabric is valuable. Okay. Um, I guess an oxygen station back there would be a good idea, but... <gasps> Shut your front face! <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> this is ridiculous. Oh my god! I'm just kicking myself. Oh, somebody kick me. Honestly. What the hell? Um... So what I might do is put an oxygen station back here because there's a lot of resources back here that, that you know, we could spend some time picking up and, and stuff like that. And uh, it'd be good to have a source of oxygen here uh, to do that with. So let's put a station up here and then I will move around to that other section, which is the waypoint that I was trying to get to when I went over the rock rather than through this cave. And you're all laughing at me now, aren't you? Yes, yes, suck it up, you lot. I know, I know, I know. I should have carried on exploring, but by that point I didn't have the tier 3 tank, oxygen was an issue, I was burning through candles, and other situational things that meant that my decisions were influenced in the opposite fashion to how the game actually designed me to do things. Never mind. It's fine. Never freaking mind. Um... Yeah, there's quite a bit of stuff here, like the, these rooms at the side there, I didn't give them a thorough explore for said reasons of oxygen. You know it, you know this, you guys know this. Yeah, you're, you're having a nice little laugh at my expense, I see, I see. There's another engineering shuttle over there, let's go check it out. This is working autonomous oxygen station. Uh, okay. This is, yeah, what he said, and a working autonomous oxygen station, thank you very much. Empty, okay. Interesting design. The wiring schemes of the steering wheel are even less complicated than in the pleasure ships. You can connect an oxygen station here if I've understood the blueprint correctly. Uh, repair tool. I have it, I have it, I know I do. There it is. Yes! And there's food and drink and stuff here, and I didn't need to bring any of my own. Look at that. Large oxygen candles. Yes, please. Examine. Shame on you. Shame on you when your underpants show through. <laughs> Nothing to hide, but you'll make little kids cry. People may think, what a nasty lad, when your bottom will glow with rad. Ripped pants can make you hurt. I'm not ashamed. <laughs> Sweet. Alright, we'll have a little look around here. Is there anything else? Maybe? Upside down chairs, bottles of water, salty packages. Oh, we've definitely got plenty of food and water now then. The steering wheel I think is on the outside is what we're uh, 
perhaps going for right now but it's good that there's an oxygen station here basically throughout this tunnel we've got plenty of air to choose from lovely okay let's have a little look see then we need, probably need a scanner right not sure how much durability I've got left on this I probably should have one durability left on the scanner great I hope we don't have to scan too much more otherwise we are screwed bit of wire always nice and a bit of plastic there I think as well as long as we actually equip our wacky stick hello always valuable a bit more wire okay we're gonna fill our inventory up um let's move on go there's loads of stuff around here look there's another ship down there with stuff trailing out of it the orange lights and stuff like that we'll go to this big bright thing over Apparently here with all the air survivor here temporarily <laughs> Temporarily a survivor. By the number of antennas, this is either a communication point or a communication point from another side of the liner. In any case, there's a chance to find Normandy and the other survivors. Sweet. Sweet. During the explosion of the bridge, I managed to take measurements of your body to order a coffin, but it didn't come in handy after all. I'd like to know. You're in great shape. Keep it up. You're almost not so bad. Hope these antennas are spares and communications can work without them. Sweet. <laughs> He says so much and talks so fast that half the time I have no idea what the frickin' hell he's talking about. Uh, okay, so we got something there. We've got that survivor dude down there as well. Let's see, is this oxygenated? Looks like someone tried to get inside the module using the shuttle as a battering ram. By the way, did you know that originally the heads of some battering rams were carved in the shape of a ram? That's an interesting fact. <laughs> This is oxygenated. The safest tool for useless construction and wasting your time. Remember not to put the loose end of the electrical tape down your throat. The pilot entered the module. Well, partly. At any rate, his brains are scattered all over the corridor, and they most likely got into the vent and activated the airlock pressurization protocol. You need to find another airlock to get inside. Oh man, you silly boy! <laughs> you ruined it for the rest of us. Okay, there's a few bits and bobs around here. There's a generator. There's a dispenser blueprint. New blueprint. Tomb Rider. Tomb Rider is not to be played by children under 12. This game is for real body positive men who don't use stupid deodorants. <laughs> Wait, is this a movie? Fantastic. It's a game, isn't it? Take it. Take the game. Large oxygen candles, large oxygen candles. Oh, we're almost out of space. Is there... No, I don't think so. Um, this is great, though. Okay, so we've got another oxygen point here. Fantastic. I can keep my other oxygen station for now. Let's go and check out the um, other survivor down there, or whatever this is down there. And, um, and then I, get, I don't know what. Do we go past this thing? It's huge mighty so we need to get inside somehow find another airlock let's check this out first though again there's so many resources around here this skillful engineer turned out to be a less skillful driver <laughs> Oh, nice. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Is this our first vehicle? Hang on. I've got, I got some underpants to examine. Examine the underpants. Ordinary underpants. With an ordinary patch. Judging by the thickness of the threads and the masterful stitch, these underpants will last for another 10 years. <laughs> Take them. Real engineer can repair even their can I equip them? Bind to slot. <laughs> oh, brilliant. We got some fuel. Resin, I guess. A miracle oh. of engineering. This vacuum cleaner flew fast, but not for too long. Neutralize. Pull out from the stone. Ah, oh, look at that! Rocket vacuum cleaner. It's got 18 of 100 fuel. Okay, we'll leave it there for a second, because let's go and check this out. He basically it flew too fast, and he just smacked into a rock with it and shattered his brains. Love it. Good Something job. Was being assembled here. Well, that would be the vacuum cleaner, wouldn't it? You silly sausage. Fire extinguisher are rarely used on spaceships because you either burn something and blow up the entire oxygenated ship 
or not, and you have nothing to distinguish in this case, although such cases do happen. <laughs> I don't have any uh, room in my root inventory, but I suspect I'm probably going to need a fire extinguisher. There's so much stuff here. First aid kits. Oh my god. Right. Examine a photo of the liner. Oh, nice. It seems during that one of the stops, someone flew out of the liner and took a picture of it quite a, at quite a distance. It's a honkingly big spaceship. Right, that is... That's me full. Um, okay. Anything else to examine or whatever? I don't think so. Right, what we can do is hopefully get this uh, vacuum cleaner motorbike back to base. Drop everything off, come back, do another little loot run. Problem is, is like... Oh, this is brilliant. Yeah, boy! I've got a vehicle! Unbelievable! I'm making it, I'm making it, I'm making it. Right, fuel at 18 of 100, so actually... Just notch down to 1700 actually. How do I get how do I get off of this thing? Exit. Hold right click. Good. Queen Universe is to blame, I know for sure. Save me, we must reveal the truth to the world. Alright. Alright, babe. No worries. Let's have a little drink. How big is that generator, do you think? Bingo. Simple generator for producing electricity. It's powerful enough to be used at the station or in a vehicle. A bulky enough. These tooltips don't last long enough. Um and bulky enough not to be carried around, although the flashlight would work much longer if connected to such a generator. I still don't even know how to turn that thing on. You know, is it L for light? It's not F, because that just pees everywhere and then I freeze to death. <laughs> I'd have to look up the controls. I haven't needed it really, to be honest. Okay, let's, uh, let's get all this stuff back to our little pod. It's definitely going to be time, I think, to set up a base soon because the amount of stuff that we're going to be carrying, like all the resources down here, I don't even know whether we can get past that or if this is just a dead end. It looks like we can get past it, actually. Fair enough. Oh, look at that. We can do 38, 39, 40 meters a second, 41. I'm so fast! <laughs> Awesome. So good. Oh my god, I can't believe how quick this thing is. That's amazing. That is just game changing. Absolute game changer. Amazing. <laughs> right, yeah, because I've got so much stuff, obviously, in this base. Um, <laughs> underpants. Um, <laughs> I don't know why that made me laugh. Uh, what was I trying to say? <laughs> Distracted my underpants. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, yes, there's a lot of stuff here that I will need to transfer into a base of some kind when we actually build it. So many oxygen candles, oxygen station, and things like that. But these, I think, are the things that we used in order to build a base. So if I take these, we know we can create a habitation module, a corridor, and an airlock. And I want to see if we can do that. Um, I don't think I need anything else from here, but once we get our base set up with some storage, we can actually begin the process of transferring all this stuff over to that base. I have no map. I have no way of knowing where the best base location is, but I have a suspicion that it's actually probably going to be near that oxygen station that we went when we went on that kind of random voyage into the middle of nowhere. Just think about it, because we've got that point there, this point down here, those points at like down 2,100 meters, 2,000 meters, 1,700 meters. It's going to be somewhere between all of these points, isn't it? You think about it, you want a central base location so you can quickly go to everywhere. Back again. Let's go and see if we can build something and then farm the living bejesus out of all these areas for all the resources that we probably don't need. I'm going to need another scanner. I just realized I'm talking a little bit like the, the AI right now and really, really quickly. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> The dispenser. When, you, when you're when you short on resources, when the risk of death from serious injuries, thirst, hunger, and fatigue is high, constructing a three-story mansion will be best option for you, as evidenced by many similar cases of survival. A dispenser is a perfect tool for this task. Wait, so that, that's, a, that's a building tool? I thought 
Well, great. Okay, so we might need that. Batteries, inductor, great. Refined metals and thick electrical tape. Resources. Oh my god. Metal, plastic and wires for the inductor. You can also make a generator now as well. It's kicking off! It's all kicking off! <laughs> okay. Uh, well, if we're going to build a base, then we're going to need one of these. And we're probably going to need some kind of power source, I guess. Maybe the generator is a good idea as well. Damn. Two or four for you. Right. So I've scanned two or four steering wheels. I don't know what this is going to be for, but yeah. Fuel. That's what I need to run the thing. Metal and resin. Cool. Wow. It's all kicking off now, isn't it? <laughs> right, let's see if we can get some of this stuff then. Let's start with dispenser. Battery, inductor, refined metal. Okay, so inductor then. Let's start with the inductor. Metal, plastic, wires. Okay, inductor then. Nice. And that gives us the dispenser. Now it comes with 99 power. Let's have a look at this thing. Right, when you're short on resources... Oh, hang on. I mean, sure, okay, so I, I've read this already. So if we right click, oh, here we go. So we can set a corridor. Nice. Turn it with middle mouse. Confirm and dismiss. Um, construction kits three. Dismiss. Build. Small habitation module. Wow, okay. So that requires. I don't, what I don't understand is the. Because we've got compartments here. These all require different things. Floor, deco, ceiling. Modules. Why that one is greyed out though, I don't know. Uh, these two are not greyed out. A tube and a corridor. A habitation module. Uh, do I need... Oh, minus... Power minus 12. Oxygen minus 7. Reach chance plus 2%. Two and two, 2 metal. So I need a construction kit and 2 metal. Okay, that just requires a construction kit. Oh, okay, I see, I, I see, I think I see now, right, okay. I'm getting this, getting the hang of things. Getting the hang of things, okay, good. Okay, so that's the, the little buildy thing, and uh, I will need the construction kits I actually have on me, strangely. Did I pick them up? I must have. Uh, that's the dispenser, what else was there? Right, chewing gum, which is used for stopping leaks and interlocutors. Cool. Right, so I might need to do some planning here because, okay, so if I want a small habitation module, that's two metal, okay? So, hang on, let me, uh, that's two metal, bing, bing. Okay, if I want uh, the corridor as well, that's the construction kit, that's a construction kit, and that's a construction kit. So those, there's, there's my three construction kits gone. Now, then I want an airlock so I can actually get in the damn thing. That's aluminium and two titanium, okay? We have an aluminium, and there's like crap loads of titanium outside, so we can quickly and easily get that. Um, unless I've got some in here. No, I've got loads of aluminium in there, though. I should take note of that. But yeah, there's um, there's titanium everywhere. As he looks around, there's none. <laughs> there's a bit, and I just drifted past a bit as well. Sometimes I actually need to be moving in order to see this stuff. Like it just sort of blends in when I'm when I'm not moving quite well. What was it? Two aluminium, did I say? Um, yeah, look, two aluminium, one alu. Uh, sorry, two titanium, one aluminium. Okay, so there we go. We've got an airlock. We have a corridor, and we have um, a tube. I guess. The question will be like, how does this all fit together? The tube, narrow passages with stairs between the modules, tubes. It's best not to litter them so nothing flies into your head when you're. Right, okay. I don't know really if we'd use that. Well, we just have the habitation module, a corridor, and then into an airlock. And then also we've got a research table here, which is aluminium, thick electrical tech, resin, and titanium. Power generator, which probably I'm guessing we need. But that's a 4% breach chance. It might be worth making some gum, you know, just to repair any breaches that we might have out there. And oxygen generator, which requires, again, two more titanium, aluminium, and inductor. So I might actually like actually create all of this stuff and then go out and set the base up, or do you think set the base up? This is <laughs> research. I don't know. I don't know which way is the way, best way to do about it because uh, I'm hoping that the habitation module also comes with some built-in storage. If it doesn't, we might be screwed. Uh, right. 
stew. Don't have a lot of uh, inventory space after this, um, but if we put an oxygen station down, we will free up a fair bit. So let's go out and build what we can. That'll be this, the corridor, and an airlock. Should be interesting. Yeah, let's go and do it. Should I make some fuel? I make some fuel before I go. <laughs> uh, you know, this is probably the best idea, isn't it? Resources, fuel. Oh, where, where, where's where's fuel? Items, fuel, items. Two resin, two metal. Okay, resin. Oh, one resin. Um, two resin. There we go. Two resin, two metal. Easy. I'm just thinking, like, we're gonna be screwing around. Probably best to have some fuel. Bingo. Fuel. Lovely. Oh, this is way better. This is way better. <laughs> Over the sea of whatever. I don't know what to call it. Not the sea of tranquility. It's the sea of being a lost dumbass. <laughs> this is where we are. We're in the sea of the lost dumbasses. Right. This is excellent. I'm hoping that the entrance to the cave... Um, kind of opens up the other side of this blue stuff over here. This is brilliant. I'm just getting around so much quicker. I don't know whether boosting uses more fuel or whether it just uses my inbuilt boost. You know? I'm thinking it uses more fuel. Look at all the stuff everywhere, though. There's stuff everywhere. Um, and this is, this is where I'm thinking of set up a base kind of thing, you know? Like, um... Maybe above this rock, and we're in between these rocks. Above this blue stuff. Right, so here I'm about, well, there's 1800 meters from those, 600 meters from that one, 1300, um, that's about 1000, 800, 600. Now the other ones on the other side, 800, 1200, 800 and 700, and 1300. This is about, I would say roughly, give or take uh, a couple of hundred meters in various directions the midpoint in the map I'm guessing possibly really it's kind of on top of this rock right here isn't it it's kind of shaded though isn't it oh yeah I got um there you go <laughs> oxygen oxygen it's kind of shaded so maybe uh Oh yeah, yeah, there we go. That's what we want. We want a view of the Liner's Fusion Core Reactor right here. This is it. This is it. Bingo, right? Green stuff up there. There's loads of stuff we can explore and, and do around here. But what I am here to do is put a small habitation module um, with... I don't know where the windows would be, if, if even such a thing. We're confirming. I'm doing it. The power of the unicorn achievement required. What? What? But I have the things! I have all the things! What? Right, I'm gonna have to look up this achievement. That's ridiculous. Right, so apparently I have to use my dispenser thing that I just made on the airlock down here in order to get this achievement. I am really bad at follow following the li linearity of this game. I should do the opportunity to look up how to turn the flashlight on, and that's just the middle mouse button. Right. Okay, so... This be here, the airlock. The service airlock. To be more precise, this was the service airlock. Unfortunately, scan. now it's gone. But if you scan how its system works and get the necessary tools, we could try to repair it to depressurize the doors. Right. And scan the repair lock, which I did. Dispenser required. Okay. Reconstruct. Module isn't selected. Select module. Airlock. Confirm. And it's going to take the resources. Small. What? Small airlock required. What are you talking about? God damn it! Now I'm gonna suffocate, or I'm gonna use a candle or something. Oh, where's the frickin' door?
I got plenty of candles on me. I just didn't want to burn one because there was an air source right here. Okay. Compartments. Small airlock. My apologies. Confirm. Almost perfect. However, your biometric data shows a bit of acute frustration with the visual implementation of the construction system that doesn't match the given developer's promises and screenshots. The Breath Edge Agency is trying to take care of its customers' mental health, therefore I have to start stimulating your brain to create visual hallucinations. Your construction system looks more attractive now, but there may be some side effects that are not worth paying attention to. <laughs> Okay, that's, that's the unicorn achievement, right. Have we got air in here? I don't appear so. You need to find oh, yeah, there control. we go. If there's anything left undamaged there and you don't try fixing it, then we have a chance. <laughs> if you don't try fixing it. Brilliant. Uh-huh. You're going to require a scanner, aren't you? Oh, no. You're good. This is like the most intact ship ever. Try to unclog the ventilation. Unclog. You need a grabber. Okay. I think I have one of those. I was correct. The brains clogged the ventilation. Now the security system should shut down, which will allow you to unlock the door manually from inside. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Seems like the owner of this piece of grey matter attempted to ram the airlock. This is... Oh. Uh, there we go. Yay! Oh, no gravity. Right, okay, what else have we got in here then? Seems as we're here. Let's have a little look around, shall we? Wanted to build a base today. Game says no. If you find the missing information, you can create such a module yourself. Who knows for what purpose? I don't have a scanner. I broke my scanner. If this place has a uh, processor though, I could create a new scanner here without having to go all the way back to base. Oh, hello. Seems you guys. Like during the crash, they smashed their heads against the console, which now appears to be non-functional. It's a shame that airbags are not provided in spaceships. The observation post was broken before the crash. All the records are missing. Looks like a diversion. Looks like a diversion. Physics in volume. Excellent. I suppose there's an achievement for gathering all these physics volumes, right? Unlike modern radios scattered throughout the area, this one uses outdated technology that even you can reproduce, probably. Scan, yeah, yeah, scan. Uh, I, I, yeah, I should have brought a new one. Breath Edge Sawyer's cigarettes. Nice. Warning, smoking causes irreversible damage to your health, especially if you smoke clay or polystyrene. <laughs> nice. And this is the interphone, which we needed for decrypting those coffin things, right? So I need to bring a scanner and those tapes with me. Need a special pass, which is issued only to employees of the liner. Okay. I need a special pass, but the employees of the liner, I'm guessing, these guys, right here, will have one. Right? No, just the cigarettes. Nothing else is coming up. Dog beer? Damn. Okay, well, uh, okay, I need to run back, get a new scanner, bring those tapes, and then we've got some stuff to scan and collect here, and, well, so much for base building today. <laughs> Best laid plans and all that, they always go to hell, don't they? Um, just seeing if there's anything else around here that I missed. Particularly a, a crafting station. But I don't think so. Oh, we can now make a construction kit as well. Rubber, resin, and titanium. Super. Let's just stick with a scanner for now, though, yeah? All right, so we're back. So the first thing was this service module. Medium service module blueprint. Done. Nice. We'll look and see what that looks like in a second. Another service module... Yeah. Anyway, uh, radio. Nice. Now we can get a radio. Lovely. And of course, let's go see what this inter thing means. The interphone is out of order, which is to yeah. be expected from a commonplace indie video game where the main gameplay is based on. Oh, wait! It actually is in order. 
However, communications are down and the antenna needs to be fixed. Again. <laughs> oh, the antenna needs to be fixed. Engineer card required. Or I could hit it. Alright, where do you think the engineer card is going to be? Pretty much checked the board around here and I didn't find any card. Apart from that, that looks distinctly like a card, but is not the card in question. Missing modules. All. <laughs> all systems malfunctioning. <laughs> Evacuation required. I like that. Wait, what was that? It scanned over something then, didn't it? There. Oh no, that's the beer. No, leave that. Don't need that. It's glitching through. We missed something here. That's the physics book. Let's have a little look around. I don't think I've been down this corridor. There's like a medical bay down here. First aid kit. Which I have one. Soda vending machine. Before using such water, it's recommended to boil it first and then pour it out. Wow! I think just give me a bunch of like water and honey just for putting a chicken in there. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. I'll take some water. I'll take another water. Just fill up on that. You know what? Get to eat. I'll replace that as well. Lovely. Okay, so lots of food, water, oxygen, candles. Nothing behind there, I assume. Don't see anything else in here. Hang on. Flashlight. No. Nope. Food packages. No engineer's card. Of course, that might be the engineer. Uh, so I don't think the engineer's card is going to be, like, nearby. Probably. Not oh, anyway. I'm going to head back out this way. And see, uh, like this should bring us up to where we were about to build a base before we realised we had to complete a achievement. This was it. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, we wanted a room with a view. Bingo, okay, so now we can equip our dispenser. And we can build a habitation module. Oh, oh, oh. Bingo! Yes! Oh boy. <laughs> Uh, should we put a station here? I think we should put a station here. I think, to be honest, I'm going to have, like, oxygen coming out of this place, but for a while, probably not. So, we shall have a station here for now. Well, we just use this to top this up as we need to. I don't know, like, this is the first time I've ever built anything on this game, so. Um, let's try now a airlock. Oh, aluminium and two titanium. Ah. Uh, this looks like our aluminium. Well, I had to go all the way back here for titanium. But uh, fortunately on that thing, it's not too bad. Okay, so... Airlock. On the end of corridor. Doesn't seem to work. I don't understand. Not uh, snapping. Does it only snap into the modules then, does it? If you don't understand, it can also work as an exit gateway, depending on from which side you're trying to get into, but this does not change the essence. The airlock serves as a quick access from space to the service module. I'm back. Service module, you son of a bean. Medium service module. Right. That takes two construction kits and electronics. Freaking hell. Right, small airlock then, I guess. Wrong module. <laughs> God damn it. No, I need a... What? 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 Why did tube do I? What is it? The frickin' hell do I do with this thing? It's about as intuitive as a sock. That is to say, not very intuitive. Let me guess, I can't make an air small airlock, come on. Wrong module. Oh, I can bolt it onto the bottom there. Oh look at that! <laughs> I did it. I freaking did it. Eventually I have an airlock. Oh, right. Oh, that's good. <laughs> There's gravity inside this thing and it won't let me... <laughs> this is fantastic, guys. This is really good. So, no, no. As soon as I get to the top here, it denies me. It denies me. I, I had to boost in order to get up the ladder. And now I'm in the module. There we go. I built a base. Isn't it freaking useless? 
Well, it's got a quick exit though, at least that, I guess. Can I dismantle things? Can I, yeah, dismantle. Lovely, dismantle. Okay, now place the freaking small airlock. I don't know, can it go on there? Can it, can it go on there? No, don't like it. It's gotta be a, a tube. But now I can't make a tube because I've run out of construction kits because it doesn't return you a construction kit when you dismantle stuff. Wow, okay. So, base building in this. Not easy, it turns out. Pretty kind of frustrating, actually. Got a lot of, like, random rules. Nothing snaps. It's a little bit odd. Right. So I guess I need to go and build some construction kits, build enough of them so they can build a service module, uh, which seems to be the, the thing. Maybe I could put the service module on the end of that little tube corridor thing that I put there, because that's the habitation module. And then I could put the airlock on the end of that. I don't know. We'll have to find out. Point is, can't do anything more here out of construction kits. There we go. <laughs> it's all a learning uh, learning experience here. Isn't it? Um, <laughs> get away. We're getting, let's charge this thing back up. There we go. Um, it's all a learning experience. I'll take it as that. At least we're going to have a view. At least we'll have a view. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> that is going to be all for today as I sort of aimlessly um, trudge through the ocean that is Breath Edge. I do hope. Uh, you enjoy the episodes thank you so much for watching it is greatly appreciated as always and hopefully i will see you next time until then take care bye bye